allies for war. France ready attack China to commit to uphold United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea in South China Sea. France has assured the Philippines that as a permanent member and president of the United Nations Security Council, it will perform its role to ensure that international law, particularly the 1982 United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea, UNCLOS, and sovereignty of its regional partners are upheld. This was one of the key messages delivered by French Ambassador to the Philippines, Mitchell Bacchus, during the reception for the Bastille Day celebration at her official residence on July 14, 2021. Bacchus emphasized the importance of regional security to both countries as France fully supports a free and open Indo-Pacific founded on a stable, law-based, and multipolar order. As a permanent member and current president of the United Nations Security Council, France will do its part to ensure that international law, particularly the UNCLOS, and the sovereignty of its regional partners, are respected," Baca said in her remarks. On the occasion of the Arbitral Award on Monday, July 12, 2021, the Embassy of France in Manila released a statement conveying its commitment to maritime security, freedom of navigation, peaceful settlement of disputes, and respect for national maritime spaces, which it said are fundamental elements that contribute to regional and global security. In line with its Indo-Pacific strategy, France reiterates its commitment to ensuring respect for international law, particularly the UNCLOS, as well as to the promotion of the rules multipolar maritime order in the South China Sea. And throughout the Indo-Pacific zone, the French embassy said, Bacchus did not hide her excitement over the preparation for next year's 75th anniversary of the establishment of bilateral relations between France and the Philippines, even while both countries are already engaged in multifaceted exchanges ranging from economic, climate change, human rights, culture, education and people-to-people -people ties. Last July 2nd, Trade and Industry Secretary Ramon Lopez and French Minister Delegate for Foreign Trade and Economic Attractiveness Frank Reister co-chaired the 9th France-Philippines Joint Economic Committee meeting that resulted in economic discussions and commitments on a broad range of sectors such as transport, maritime cooperation, and agriculture. As we prepare for the 75th anniversary of French-Philippine diplomatic relations on June 26, 2022, I would like to invite you all to share any initiative or idea you may have which can contribute to the richness and the diversity of the ties between our two countries," Bacchus told her guests led by Foreign Affairs Secretary Teodora Loxon, Secretary Lopez, Senator Aquilino Pimentel III, and Senator Risa Hontiveros.